In this episode, we look at prepositions. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back. In today's lesson, we will identify and use prepositions appropriately in writing. Preposition. A preposition shows a relationship between a noun or a pronoun and some other word in the sentence. For example, the ball is under the table. The word under tells us where the ball is in relation to the table. He is fighting against us. The word against is telling the relationship between he and us. So here are some commonly used um, prepositions. So we have preposition, we have meaning, and we have example. Above, higher than or over. The sun is above the clouds. Across, from one side to the other. It's dangerous to run across the road, to run from one side to the other. After, following something or later than. The boy ran after the ball. I'll phone you after lunch. Against, in opposition to, in contact with. For example, stealing is against the law. The sofa is against the wall. Along, from one end to the other, they are walking along the street. Among, surrounded by. Peter was among the spectators. Around, in a circle, near or approximately. He walked around the table. It cost around $50. We have before. Earlier than or in front of the day before yesterday, he bowed before the king. Behind, at the back of, passengers at passengers sit behind the driver. Below, that means lower than, his shorts are below his knees. Beneath, under, the pen was beneath the books. Beside, next to. The bank is beside the cinema. Between, in the space separating two things. For example, Mary sat between Tom and Jane. By, near, at, the side of, or not later than. For example, the restaurant by the river, that is near to the river. The boss wants the report by Friday, no later than Friday. Through, from one side to the other. The, okay, I can't, I can't hardly make this one out, but this is a river that flows through Paris. All right, throughout, in every part of, so the virus spread throughout the country. Past, which means beyond, she drove past the supermarket, so she's gone beyond the supermarket. Within, inside, they live within the old city. Without, um, this is not having or a lack of something, so not have um, or a lack of something. I don't like coffee without milk. This one here, let's let's look at this. Onto, to move to a position or surface, the cat jumped onto the roof of the car. Opposite, facing on the other side, Eva sat opposite Tom at the table. Okay. Engage. Read the sentence below and say what is wrong with it. The dog... Is the table. Do you think it is missing a word? Yes or no? If your answer was yes, you are right. In this sentence, it is unclear how the dog and the table are related to one another. Use the picture to decide what word should be added to the sentence to make it more clear. So, the dog is under the table. Let's explore. Complete with about, by, from, in, on, round, through, to, with. So my dream is to travel 
to travel um, about the world, with the world, in the world, around the world, put the one. How would you um, go on the plane? All right. Um, no dash boat and dash foot. The traffic in the city was so heavy, it took us two hours to drive dash it. That one feels like through. Dash Montego Bay, we took the bus dash Kingston. So we could have in Montego Bay, we took the bus uh, to Kingston. She doesn't seem very happy dash fact. She looks quite depressed all right um so we could say in fact in fact she looks quite depressed when the film was finished we all had tears dash our eyes we all had tears in our eyes all right um the novel isn't dash henry james it's dash him okay Dash time, dash time, he worries, dash his future. Okay. The man, dash blue jeans, was dash love, dash the girl, dash the glasses. And for this one, I think we could say with the man with blue jeans was in love with the girl with uh glasses perhaps but you can fill those in and you leave them in the comment section below or turn them into your teachers so that we can have an extra look at those all right quickly now explain here are some examples in which faulty use has been made of prepositions so write each sentence correctly the pear fell off the tree Okay, next one. The boy stood up on the desk. I am waiting on him to answer. Grandma said we should share the apple between the four of us. Okay. John is standing into the room. All right, I can quickly tell you for four and five... If we're going to say uh, four of us, we won't use between. Between should be used for two persons, okay? Only two. So we would use among. John is standing into the room. Now the preposition into shows movement from one place to the next. But the preposition in shows place one specific place so he's standing in the room that would be okay but we could say he walked into the room meaning he was outside of the room and then he came into the room he moved into that space all right all right elaborate it says write suitable prepositions to complete the following sentences one dash Easter, we've got holidays. Maybe by Easter, we've got holidays. Number two, I'm meeting him the weekend, perhaps on the weekend. Uh, I woke up, number three, I woke up dash midnight, at midnight. Um, people usually put on weight dash Christmas, at Christmas, during Christmas. Um, five, see you dash May, perhaps see you in May. Um, you must answer the questions at the end of the book. Okay. All right. Seven, dash the end. They have reached an agreement by the end. I met them on a ship. She's... On her way home, I couldn't watch the TV show because the children were in my way. Okay. 
if you have any other answers, then you can put those in and we'll discuss whether they match up with the sentence grammatically. All right. So prepositions in this episode, we were looking at prepositions and prepositions are words that show the relationship between nouns, pronouns and other words in the sentence. Take care. I'll see you in the next episode. Remember to share your answers with your teachers so you can get feedback.